Welcome to Eteguini Matters. My name is Zimbili Mazbuko and I'm going to be your host. The Eteguini Municipality will be hosting a property conference to discuss government disposal policies and plans and to provide financial information on property, funding, services and products. Today on Eteguini Matters, we are joined by Tapelo Musinyane, who is head of real estate unit. Mr. Musinyane, welcome to Eteguini Matters. Thank you and thanks for the invite. Can you please tell us more about the property conference that starts tomorrow in Etewini? Um, well, the property conference came about um, as a challenge from the mayor uh, that we have since 2021 embarked on what we call a proactive land release strategy. Um, and he challenged us that, that we must have a conference where we are informing the public and also then bringing into um, the occasion funding institutions uh, because our focus is much more on commercial properties um, which are largely um, capital intensive. So he then challenged us to say, have a conference where you can have everybody together. So the conference is about that. Mm. Tell us more about the theme and how it is relevant to the municipality. Um, the theme is uh, maximizing public sector assets, I mean property assets, uh, to drive economic growth and transformation and enable um, meaningful participation of historically disadvantaged um, individuals. I think the history of um, black people in general and the exclusion in terms of participation in property in this country is well documented. Now what we are then, um, or the theme is then to try and uh, use public assets that are owned by government, including assets and municipality, to then drive that economic transformation. Economic in the sense of giving black players that they previously excluded and those kind of opportunities. Economic being, property developments by its very nature is attractive of investments. So driving um, that investment through the release of government properties uh, for the private sector, obviously giving preference to um, historically disadvantaged uh, people or black people in general, giving them those opportunities to then come and be developers. Mm. We are expecting uh, hundreds of delegates to attend the conference tomorrow. Tell us more about the speakers. Um, we have speakers from Transnet, uh, Prasa, us as the municipality, um, national and provincial government. Um, from the funding institutions, we have the three banks, uh, being FNB, APSA, um, as well as NetBank. You then have um, TEF as well. Um, the uh, Development Bank of South Africa is also there. Uh, in total, I think we have about 17 speakers covering um, the government property ownership side of things as well as funding institution. And I think the reason why we've gone for such a long program is to try and accommodate everyone. Um, what some of these banks are offering is something that is quite unique. Um, so we were then wanted to actually provide information in terms of um, everything else from what properties are coming up that are owned by government to all the financial products that are available on the market for different categories. Mr. Musinyane, how can we use our assets to drive economic transformation? Um, between 2021 and 2023, we released, I think, in total of about 25 uh, properties. We managed to award about 12 of those. The capital investment that we are going to get out of that is about 2.3 billion. Uh, now, that's uh, injection into the city. Um, that probably is going to contribute to our GDP as well. It is going to create in the region of about 5,000 jobs. Uh, during construction and after construction, it's going to create about 1,295. Um, so pretty much, I think in a nutshell, that's a prime example of how we can then use this asset to drive economic growth um, as well as um, the transformation I spoke about. The 11 leases that we've awarded, or the 12 rather, were all awarded to companies that are 100% black owned. Is there a special focus of the conference? Not really. Uh, the special focus of the, the, the if, if there is, is I think we are much more focused on government entities giving us their plans in terms of their disposal plans um, within our, our, our municipal jurisdiction. As a city queen, we do release properties on a quarterly basis. Uh, between December and now, I think we released about 21 properties. Uh, we should be releasing about 30 on the, the next turn. So we are just then wanting government, government entities like National Provincial Public Works, Transnet and Prasa to come and share uh, with us their development plans um, within our municipal jurisdiction. Mm. Are we ready for tomorrow for the conference? Any closing remarks from you? Uh, we are ready. Um, it's been quite stressful, but yeah, um, we are ready for, for so it's all systems go for tomorrow. Mm. Okay, thank you very much for your time.
and for coming okay. through on Etebin Matters. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. That was Tabelo Musinyana, Head of Real Estate in Etebin Municipality. From myself and the entire team, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share.